New developments in the sexual misconduct case against former San Diego County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher. It's our top story on the four. I'm Marcella Lee. Heather Myers has the day off. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal was in the courtroom for today's hearing and has the latest on what the judge ordered the accuser's attorneys to do. Kelly. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the plaintiff, Gracia Figueroa, now has uh, a week to turn over all text messages, photos, videos, uh, voice recordings between the two of them uh, to Fletcher's attorneys. Now, this has been a back and forth that's been going on for months. And finally, today, the judge said, uh, here's your deadline. You have seven days or you'll face a $4,000 fine. No photos have been provided. No videos have been provided. No voice recordings have been provided. And we're missing dozens and dozens of communication. It's all that all that was included in the supplemental production were the screenshots that were in uh, incorporated into the complaint. That's all that was produced regarding the communications. This is a, an attempt to sort of go around the point that the documents were produced, whether they were produced directly in response to the first one or in a duplicative second set, they were produced. Now, neither Fletcher nor Figueroa appeared in court today. It was just their attorneys. Uh, and it's clear from today's hearing, this case is moving forward very slowly. And there's some frustration. It's been eight months since the sexual misconduct lawsuit was filed. Fletcher's attorneys have said in court filings that it wants the entirety of their correspondence to be turned over because it will prove their interactions were consensual. Today, Figueroa's attorneys told the judge, we've turned over what we have. Uh, but Meta, the company that runs Instagram, has a lot of what they're asking for. And Fletcher himself does too unless he's deleted it but the judge sided with Fletcher's attorneys in his tentative ruling he wrote quote the requests seek relevant and discoverable documents indeed such documents are repeatedly referenced throughout plaintiff's complaint and go to the very core of her claims against defendant and defendants potential defenses to those claims uh, he also notes the burden of proof is on the plaintiff meanwhile this issue of a protective order was brought up which would basically prevent some of this evidence from being made public Figueroa's Attorneys say this is something that's been discussed during conference calls. Fletcher's attorneys say no, it hasn't. Here's some of that exchange. I can pull it up and give you a specific example here. Do you not oh. see that this week? You no, know, and it's just not true. Okay. It, that did not happen. I not respectfully disagree. After I have a more room and another little conference called about a protective order. So clearly getting the, to, the two sides to agree on anything at this point has been very challenging. Now, at one point, Fletcher's attorney said today, uh, basically, you know, if they would have just uh, responded in a timely fashion to our request for these documents or even responded to my emails at all, we wouldn't have had to be here today for today's hearing. Uh, on a side note, I also learned today that Figueroa's original attorney, Zachary Schumacher, he is no longer on the case, uh, that she has new attorneys now. I reached out to Schumacher for comment uh, but did not get a response response back. Marcel and Carlo. Kelly, let's go back to that protective order for a moment. Who is calling for one? Is it both sides? It sounds like it initially uh, was triggered by MTS bringing it up, but then after that happened, uh, uh, Figueroa's attorney said, yeah, let's discuss that. However, the judge said you didn't even want to discuss that until after uh, Fletcher's attorneys, you know, filed this motion to compel, basically forcing you to give over these text messages, uh, these videos, documents like that. Uh, he said that there's no proof at this point that a protective order is even necessary because he pointed out a lot of those text messages were in the original complaint that she filed that has been uh, made public. All right, we'll continue to follow this case. Thanks so much, Kelly, for the